Are lawmakers, judges and other public officials in Arizona taking bribes from the Sinaloa cartel and fixing elections? No, there's no reliable evidence that's true. Jacqueline Brieger, an insurance agent who made the allegations during a joint meeting of the Arizona House and Senate Elections Committees on February 23, 2023, did not provide credible proof to back up her explosive claims. Arizona House Speaker Ben Toma described Brieger's allegations as unsubstantiated and defamatory, while State Senator Wendy Rogers, chairman of the Senate Committee on Elections, said the claims should never have been aired in front of lawmakers. Rogers noted, to our knowledge, none of the people named had charges filed, have prosecutions pending, nor had any convictions made against them. The claim appeared in a post on Facebook, on February 24, 2023. The post included a roughly 40-minute video of Brieger's presentation and a caption that read, quote, Explosive election fraud testimony by Jackie Berger outlining the most complex investigation into political corruption in AS. Testimony claims that Katie Hobbs and her husband are laundering cartel money through fake deeds and mortgages. End quote. This is what the post looked like on Facebook at the time of writing. Source. Facebook screenshot taken on Tuesday, February 28, 14 hours 21 minutes and 29 seconds 2023 UTC. In the clip, Brieger said she's an insurance agent, a longtime resident of Scottsdale, Arizona, and a principal investigator with the Harris Toller law firm. She identified John Harris Toller as the senior attorney in charge of an investigation, which alleges, among other things, that two women working for the Sinaloa cartel used falsified mortgage documents to launder money and bribe elected and appointed officials in Arizona. Brieger did not mention that the two women she accused are Thaler's ex-wife and former mother-in-law. She also did not mention that, according to social media, she and Toller are in a relationship. Shortly before the 31 to 40 mark, Brieger alleged, quote, The cartel invests substantially to ensure that the right people are in key positions so as to further their objectives. The fix for 2020 and for 2022 started in 2017, with appointment to election positions of individuals being bribed through the mortgage scheme and through monies being laundered by the appointment of phantom individuals. End quote. At the 34 to 50 mark, she claimed, quote, in Arizona, public officials accepting bribes include members of the legislature, the executive branches of the state government, more than two dozen judges on the Maricopa County Superior Court, at least two judges in the city of Mesa Court, at least one judge in the town of Gilbert, the mayor of Mesa, five members of Mesa City Council, several police officers. End quote. Roger's full statement after the meeting can be read below. Source. Twitter screenshot taken on Tuesday, February 28, 20. 25 to 52, 2023, UTC. Toma similarly sought to distance himself from Brieger's presentation. In a statement sent to lead stories on February 28, 2023, he said, quote, What should have been a joint hearing to examine common sense election reforms devolved into disgraceful fringe theater. I'm not alone in believing that it was irresponsible and bad judgment for Ms. Harris to invite a person to present unsubstantiated and defamatory allegations in a legislative forum. End quote. Toma was referring to State Representative Liz Harris, who invited Brieger to address the joint meeting. Lead Stories reached out to Harris to ask about Brieger's claims. We will update this story, as appropriate, if we hear back. We also reached out to Brieger to ask about the evidence supporting her claims and her reaction to Roger's statement. She said she had in excess of 120,000 documents and sent a link to the report she provided to members of the elections committees. That report listed 47 allegations and included deeds of trust allegedly tied to Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs. Nothing in the report proved Brieger's claim that lawmakers, judges and public officials in Arizona are on the take. In an email to Lead Stories, dated February 28, 2023, Brieger acknowledged limitations of the investigation, but stood by its results. She wrote, quote, We encourage the Senate and the legislature to embark on their own investigation of our discovery and we are willing to work with them when they do. We fully support the need for a full-scale investigation by an enforcement agency. To date, we have been limited in our authority to pursue such as was also stated in my report. However, 
There is no denying the evidence we have and there is no denying the fact that we have enough evidence to warrant such an investigation. End quote.